Hey YouTube, this is Doug Green Cabby, and today we're going to be showing you how to make a self-watering bucket for seven bucks. Seven bucks. Seven bucks. Now there's a lot of people out there that are making self-watering buckets. We're basically going to break it down for you. We're going to tell you the SKU numbers and part numbers from Home Depot so that you can get it done for seven dollars. Seven bucks. We're going to show you some tips and tricks and even some ways to make it cheaper or less expensive if that's what you decide. So basically what we're going to be working with today is uh, we've got a two foot one inch PVC pipes from Home Depot and uh, it costs $1.80 for the PVC pipe. The SKU number for it is 254977. Now if you don't have a paper and a pen handy, that's fine. We're going to go ahead and put it in the comment box below so that you'll have the part list. $1.80, okay? Next, what we're going to have is we're going to have some plastic bags. Now in most of the videos you see that people actually go get uh, drop sheeting or plastic that they pay for. Uh, everybody in America goes to a store sometime and most of those stores have large plastic bags that they give to you for free or when you buy things a lot of times there will actually be plastic covering the things that you buy. So this is a great way in the project that you have the ability to be able to cut your cost because yes we're going to be using plastic but we're not going to go out and spend money for things that we see every single day. This gives you the ability to recycle and to grow food for your family. So what you need to do is make sure that any bag that you use is big enough to cover the top and what we're going to be doing is cutting a slit in the top so that we can go ahead and uh, put our plant in. Uh, next we have a three inch cup. Now this one here is a hummus cup that we got and I'll tell you what, everybody at their house they have something like this or something comes to their house, your next door neighbor has it, whatever. But this is basically a 16 ounce container. You can get it for cottage cheese, cream cheese, various things that you can get at the store. And a lot of people are using three inch neti pots or various other pots that they buy anywhere from three to five dollars. This right here is going to go in your trash or go in your recycle bin. It's completely free. So three inches and basically what it's going to do is going to sit here and this is going to be your wicking cup. So we're going to drill a bunch of holes into it, you stuff dirt into it, put it through the bottom, and it's going to wick the moisture up completely free. Next, what you're going to do is uh, we're going to be using a couple of rubber bands that we put together so that you can put the plastic on top. You can use bungee cord, you can use rubber bands, you can use a piece of string, but basically something that you have around the house, everybody has this stuff, you can replicate it at your house, and you have the ability to use it so that you are limiting your cost of food production. Now on the buckets, these buckets are from Home Depot. They're two dollars and sixty cents a piece. SKU number for them is one three one two two seven. That's one three one two two seven. And the great thing about these is you can use these for all kinds of stuff. You can use these for prepping, storing food. You can use these for all kinds of projects. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Super cheap. Now one tip or t uh, trick. Now I gave you the SKU number so that you can just go to Home Depot. You can pick up the supplies and be ready. But uh, one tip or trick to uh, do with this, you can actually call any of your local bakeries, any of your local uh, you know, Mexican food places, any restaurants. You can call the grocery store, and a lot of them actually get their supplies in five-gallon buckets, and then they throw them away. So you have the ability to get those for free and drastically reduce the price of your bucket. But here, I want you to be able to go to Home Depot, be able to pick that up, and be able to make it. So uh, right here, two buckets, $2.60 a piece. Total price for these uh, things here is going to be seven bucks. Seven bucks. Seven bucks. Q number once again is one three one two two seven. Okay. Next, what you're going to need is you're going to need potting mix or potting soil. The big thing about this is you don't want to get regular soil or soil that's for the outside. If you have the potting mix, this is going to give it the ability for it to wick the moisture. Potting mix, very very important. You can use the organic brand. You can use various other brands. You don't have to use this brand but potting mix. Next you're going to need some granular fertilizer and uh, basically it could be any brand. This is an organic fertilizer and basically what you do is you put a one inch ring around the top so that as the moisture comes up and it hits the plastic, it comes back down and seeps into the soil. It breaks this down slowly over time so that you don't have to continuously feed your plant. So this is really good. This is what you'll need on the top. Okay, so first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to find out where our drainage hole is going to be. So what you do is you hold up the bucket to the light. What you're going to find is where the bottom of the bucket is. And what you're going to do is you're going to make a little, you're going to make a little mark. So right where the bucket meets, you're going to make a little mark. And that's going to be your drainage hole. So right here what you got, you got your drainage hole. It's about three inches from the bottom. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a uh, 
quarter inch drill bit. We're going to drill a hole there so when you fill up the water from the top, you know that it's full when it starts running out the top hole. Okay, so in your drainage cup, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and make a bunch of holes around the side and around the bottom so that you have the ability for the moisture to wick through the soil and wick up to your plants. Okay, so what you do is take a quarter inch drill bit and what you're going to do is just go ahead and put some holes in there. Make sure not to put holes in your hands. That would not be good. Okay, so now we have our wicking cup done. We have all of our holes all the way around the sides and uh, on the bottom, so that is ready. Now what we were going to do is right here, you're going to take the bottom where the wicking cup is going to go, and you're going to take a magic marker. And what you're going to do is you're going to go all the way around the edge of your cups. Like so. Now the great thing about this is, is this project's only going to take you about 10 minutes and you're going to be ready for growing and you can replicate this process very, very simply, really cheaply and you can almost do it for almost free. The only thing that you would really have to buy uh, is the PVC pipe. Now the great thing is we bought this here and the PVC pipe was $1.80 but if you buy it in 10 foot lengths you can actually get it for every two foot uh, section. You can get it uh, I, I think for about a buck so you actually would save about 50% of the price that you're putting into it. So now that we have the hole in the top bucket, we are also going to uh, drill some drain holes. Now, the great thing about this is, is it's super easy and anybody can do it. A little five-year-old can do it. So that you can get the whole family involved in this project and it's great for spending time with your family because one, you can be more connected with the food that you grow. Also, you have the ability to spend good quality time. You can teach your kids about measurements, about uh, safety with tools, about the outdoors. It's really great. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to use a half inch drill bit here. Now with the half inch drill bit, what we're going to do is we're going to drill some holes around, like almost like a sun, where the rays uh, going out from the hole are going to be uh, the drainage holes. Now the great thing about this is what's going to happen is we're going to wick the moisture up through the soil. If there's excess moisture, it's going to fall out through these holes here. So one, it gives uh, air to the root system. Also, it makes sure that it's not oversaturated. So what we're going to do is going to go throw some holes in here really quick. Also, to get our hole started, what we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole in the middle of this and we're going to use a saw to go ahead and cut out the circle we just drew and we're going to make it slightly smaller than the line that we drew so that the hole uh, will accommodate the cup and not let it slip through. Alright, so next you just want to knock out all of your plastic. So now you got a nice little sun pattern in there and you see here we have the uh, entryway so that we can go ahead and cut out the circle and fit in our cup. perfectly in there. The lips on it uh, catch it quite nicely. So all we're going to do, we're going to put it in the opposite side and it's going to hang down and the moisture is going to wick up. Now like I said, this is quick and easy. Now last step, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and make a hole for our pipe. Now what, what's going to happen is the pipe's going to sit here and we're going to be able to water it and then the water is going to come down and fill up the reservoir. What you need to do is on the end you need to cut off a little bit of an angle so that when the water flows in it's not sitting directly against the bottom and it gives the ability for the water to flow in as opposed to just stopping inside the tube. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. want to 
to do is we want to make sure that the bottom of it is still there so that it has the ability for it to sit and drain the water right inside. Okay, now that we have that done, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and draw a circle so that it has the ability for it to go right in. Now the easiest thing to do is to use a hole saw, but I understand that not a lot of people are going to have hole saws, or maybe not everybody's going to have hole saws out there. So what I'm trying to do is show you an easy way that you can do it. You either have the ability to cut it out with a knife, a straight blade, uh, or you can use a hole saw. What we're going to do is we're going to do the same method that we just did, where we put a, uh, we drilled a hole in it, and then we cut it out with the saw that we have. Alright, so we have our entry hole drilled in there. What we're going to do is we're going to take our sole, go around the circle, and slide our pipe right in. Alright, so what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and clean up the edges there. sure you don't have any of those big plastic shavings. All right. So as you see, what happens is you would flip this over, and this is how it's going to attach. you got your wicking cup there in the bottom. You've got your watering pipe in through the top, and then what you would do is fill it in with the soil. So this is what we're going to do. So first, you take your bucket. You put it down in there, okay? Okay, then you're going to take your wicking cup and you're going to put it in. Now, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and pack our wicking cup tightly with the soil. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow the, the moisture to wick up through it, okay? Okay, so we got our soil in there. We want to go ahead and pack it tightly. Try to make as big a mess as possible. <laughs> I'm sure my wife is going to be happy about that. Okay, so then you go ahead and put your wicking cup inside. We're going to go ahead and put in the watering pipe. All right. You want to make sure that you have a good compaction rate in there. Okay, now you don't want to completely make this thing overflowing. You're going to want to make sure that it is packed in there well. What you're going to do is you're going to put your plant in. You are going to pull your soil back. You're going to put your plant in, then compact it around. And along the top, what you're going to have is you're going to put a one-inch layer around the top of your granular fertilizer. Like so. Now, what this granular fertilizer is going to do is as the water comes up, it's going to hit the plastic, it's going to come back down, and it's going to seep through the soil and break this down so that you have the nutrients go down through the soil. Okay, so for your final step, what you're going to do is you're going to take your plastic, you're going to put it over the top. Now, we know that we're not going to need all of this plastic, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut it down so that we don't have just plastic sitting everywhere. So just take some scissors or a knife cut down your plastic. And what you're going to do is you're going to put it over the top like so and you're, you're going to put two holes in this plastic. Okay. The first hole is going to go right where the pipe is. Okay, so that's going to slide right over onto the top. Okay, and your second hole is going to be a little bit of a cross in the center so that you have a place to plant your plant. Okay? And once you're done, what you do is you take your bungee cord or your rubber bands, you put them around the top like, like so, and you have your self watering container garden. So, what you're going to do is after it's planted, you just put your water in the top, you fill it up until it comes out of the drainage hole and it will self-water for you. Now if you want to get a little bit more protection, 
Uh, you can put a secondary bag because this is a thinner plastic because we're not using the sheet plastic that people usually do. So you can put over a second one and that's going to give you the protection for it to go through a whole season without having to replace it. And once again, this is a $7, seven bucks, seven bucks way to be able to make a self-watering garden. And the great thing is, is you can continue to reuse this. And if you go to the different places that we told you, like the bakeries or the grocery stores, and you get the buckets for free, it's only going to cost you a dollar to a dollar eighty per bucket to make. So once again, thank you so much for watching. If you get a chance, please give us a big thumbs up for all the great useful information that we gave you today. Also, if you get a chance, please subscribe so that we can share more uh, green living uh, with you, more ways to make money and to save money. And as always, if you get a chance, please favorite, please like, please tweet, please pin, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for joining us.